Hello, this is Jon Kobrop from EMD. In this tutorial, I will talk about the Fence Exporter in the SketchUp integration tool. I have prepared a project here. I have loaded uh, the SketchUp integration module from this button and I have uh, set up a PV area and a calibrated camera object here. And you can see I have uh, already rendered uh, the PV panels here in the, in the photo montage for, for this camera. Also, I have exported uh, a surface and a PV plant to SketchUp. And I have loaded SketchUp from here inside the SketchUp integration tool. When I started up, uh, this button says load SketchUp and I did that. And um, I have aligned the two projects uh, together here side by side. So now I'd like to add a fence around uh, this uh, PV area here. And I can do that using uh, this fence, new fence exporter. So now I'll just click on the create button for creating a, a fence exporter. And as you can see here, there is a list of templates. You can also scroll through them here and see how they look like. Um, I expect more templates to come and you can also create your own templates. I'll get back to that. So I'll say I want to scale it to this height and where should it be? It can either follow a shape file or I can use a WinPro object to define where to go. So uh, I don't have a shape file. I want it to follow the edge of this um, PV area here. So I'll go to, into this and I don't have any uh, WinPro object to shape file exporters created yet. So I'll create one. And here you can see what kind of objects that at this time can be exported to uh, shapefiles and used uh, for this exporter. And I want to use the solar uh, PV area exporter. So, and I'll just set it to export all visible objects. And that means uh, that whenever I run this exporter that I, I'm now creating, it will export all visible uh, PV areas uh, for using uh, uh, for this exporter. So I'll say OK. And now I will just click this button that is new in WinPro 3.6 that I want to re-import to WinPro whatever I'm exporting to SketchUp. So, and that means that when I export uh, something to SketchUp, it will straight away go back into WinPro and uh, turn up as a 3D object that can, that can be used straight away in a photo montage. That way I don't have to export it back from SketchUp manually. Uh, so that is fine if you don't want to uh, alter anything to what you exported, which I don't expect I will in uh, this situation. So now I just uh, run the exporter. So now I'm just waiting for the fence to turn up here in uh, SketchUp. You can see something happened. And here it is. It looks as I expected it. To do and if I go back here to the object you can see that it's uh, already created this uh, 3D object um, that I can use now in the photo montage. So if I go into the photo montage and turn on, on that I want to see the symbol layer you can see that uh, the fence is there and you can see the 3D object that was created is placed here in the center of, of this geometry. So now I just try to render So, as you can see, this looks uh, quite nice and it uh, follows the terrain all the way down here and it connects very nicely at the, at, at the connection points of, of uh, this geometry that I'm using to define the path of uh, this fence. So that is uh, quite well, uh, nice and, and works quite well. Now, if you find that the fence might be a little too dark and you don't want to lighten up all objects in uh, the photo montage, you can go into the 3D object and open the properties and uh, check this checkbox that it should be illuminated with 
ambient light, bright ambient light and here you can set the intensity of light that it should be enlightened with so um, now I'll just try to render you can see it makes a little difference so that might be a little too too much but then you can uh, of course you can go and, and change it again here to something less but um, that's uh, an optional uh, thing you can work with. Now, if I for some reason would have liked to edit the uh, fence before taking it into a photo montage, um, I can still do it. Uh, and I'll just show you how, uh, as an example of how to do it. I'll erase the 3D object I had uh, imported before. And then I could go uh, here into uh, SketchUp and do whatever changes to the fence I would like. For instance, uh, I might want to you to delete some of it, or perhaps I want to uh, change the the fence. If I double click on on this, it is uh, the fence is made as a component, and I can actually go and 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 change just one of them, and then all of them would change. Now I'm just deleting. Uh, some part of uh, the fence and then it looks a bit different and then I can uh, hide the layers with the other things here in the model and that makes it easier for me to select the fence and then I can export that to WinPro. Uh, and then that turned up as a 3D object here and I can go back here in the photo montage and try to render that. So here we go. Uh, perhaps you want to create your own fence uh, and if you're doing this all the time, uh, modifying the fence that you export, uh, you might as well want to uh, create uh, your own fence. And you can also uh, so do that uh, quite easily. I'll just go here into my fence exporter and he, um, the way you do it is that you select one of the existing fences and you want uh, you select that you want to create a copy of it and now i have to select a file name for my copy i just call it my fence And what WinPro does is that it creates a copy of uh, the existing fence and loads uh, it in uh, SketchUp. So now we're waiting for SketchUp to load with this copy. So here it is, and that was made in an uh, older version of uh, SketchUp. Doesn't really matter in this case. Um, now I'll just uh, make the changes I want to, to this uh, template. So if I do the same, as I did before, I'll erase every second one of these and then perhaps I want to um, make uh, the texture of, of the fence a bit different. I'll take, oh, maybe I have to select it first. Select Control A and I, yes. So now I made uh, visible change to the uh, model and I just say I will hide the axis and make a screenshot. I, you don't have to do that but I I think it's uh, very nice later on you will see why. I use my screen uh, grabber here and I'll just say copy. So now I close uh, SketchUp and say yes to, to save this. So now back here in uh, the fence exporter you can see now I got this uh, new fence that I created. It doesn't have an image like the other ones. So that's why I took a screenshot. I can right click and say paste. So now uh, it has its own uh, image too. I'll say OK. So now if I run it, it will just... Uh, come here and be right on top of the old one. So I just hide the old one and run this new fence exporter. And 
and as you can see it looks as I expected it to um, and of course you could uh, bring that into a uh, photo montage and, and visualize it here too so here you go Well, that's about it, so um, thank you for now and thank you for watching.